you fell out with us? I would feel us so bad. I feel so mm. bad. I'm amazed I haven't cried. You know what I'm like. <sighs> oh! Do you like cubes? I like cola cubes. Do you? Do you know now they don't put the jelly inside the cola cubes? The man in the sweet shop told me. Why it's devastated. Oh, it's, it's, it's not a cola cube, then, is it? No. Goodness sake. I've got some. Now, you know, we were talking earlier on about Cleopatra, weren't we, when she was seducing Mark and Antony, the lush? She loved lapis lazuli. She did. You go down to, like, the National History Museum and you go up to the, where the mummies are. You know, the mummies in the Egyptian tombs mm -hmm. and everything. What's the two gemstones that was massive? Lapis lazuli, uh, carnelian. Absolutely. I was going to say and emerald. Emerald. But, and yeah. Yeah. Turquoise as well. Yeah. This is such a stylish strand. It is. And it's coming for you as a star buy. In ten minutes. Ten minutes. You know, Marcus has just done a whole term of e uh, e Egypt and they had to get dressed up and they had food and they had somebody come in from the oh, museum wow. to talk to them about things. And they were talking about gems and so I gave them some gems. Oh, to take in. that was good of you. Yeah, so they've all oh, got, great. They've got the story about Cleopatra dissolving a pearl in wine so she could. Com com um, consume the wealth of the country in oh, one meal. Wow, because they yeah. really did believe yeah, all that. I mean, yeah. it was massive. I think even more so than it is now. Yes. Massive, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so they're coming up in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Now then, we've got in Fleur's kit, in her resin kit in the next hour, we have got, you might have seen Fleur's fantastic resin demo earlier. It's fascinating. I love resin. I love watching, I love watching you do resin. Uh, me, not so much. I've done oh, much. Well, we've got the glitter. I was going to get you time ago. Can, can I please? Gosh, you know, you I can. always want to when it's resin, don't yeah, I? Yeah, you can. I always get, can I have a go? <laughs> She's like, all right then. Um, but like. in, you've got some um, angel wings. Yeah, so fairy wings. Some large fairy wings. wings. All right. What yeah. do you think they could be either? Uh, definitely. Either. Yeah. Definitely. Either. Which yeah. I think is very poignant. I really do, having those angel wings or fairy wings, however you want to look at it. Um, so we've got those going to be in Fleur's resin kit in a bit, in the 12 o'clock hour. But now we're going to do this. Now, I think these are obviously angel wings. And I think, especially today, yeah. it's very poignant very that we have these on, yeah. the, on the show. These are two precious metals. Because I think an angel, when we think of an angel or a guardian angel, you know, um, I think it's, it means so much to a lot of us, doesn't it? I mean, mm. like, I always... I always think of my mum being with me all the yeah, time and my nan. Yeah. yeah, and you yeah. do as well. Of course yeah. you do. You know, when we've lost people, yeah. we feel like they're with us, don't yeah, we? And I think do. that is just a lovely nod to somebody that's passed that meant that's, a lot to you. That's it, yeah. And, and the, what I love about these as well is you can have that as a charm, as you can wear it as a, a pendant, and it, you don't have to explain exactly. what it means to you. No. It's, just, it's a beautiful emblem just it's by itself. a personal itself. reminder. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not too garish, it's subtle. Yeah. It's just... It's beautiful, it really is, and so poignant. Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, angel wings. Now, they would make lovely decorations, because you think about the angel that we have on the Christmas tree as well. So, seasonal-wise, they're yeah. great. Um, and I just think that is... And again, it doesn't have to be a person, it can be a lost pet. Of course, yeah. It, Any... It, we were talking about um, memory jewellery earlier with the resin. Oh, were you? So, you could have, if you've got a little bit of your, you know, your pet that you've lost a little bit their hair pop a you know one of these beautiful angel wings in there as well and yeah. wear it as a pendant exactly. so you can pop absolutely. these into your resin. yeah absolutely these are so delicate um i'm just going to show you if i pop let's say a little oh, this oh, no, it's incredible isn't it look about color imagine one of those with the ethiopian opal from earlier that sold out that is a lovely lovely charm size as a charm, but it also would make the most beautiful drop earrings. Yes, it would, yeah. I really do, because yeah. you could turn those round so they actually faced inwards, couldn't you? Yes. So that would frame the face beautifully, yeah, wouldn't it? Definitely. Those tourmaline earrings. Have you done these tourmaline yet? They're... How much... Pardon? Exactly, yeah. Seven... And look at some of the reds. Look at this one. This one's... Can you see the red? That's a beautiful, like a garnet get, you red. You don't get that, do you? That's seven ninety-five. Yeah. Absolutely. Blimey neck. You got any left? That's really. It's amazing. That's isn't like it? strand or not? Yeah, it's amazing. Sorry, I'm digressing. Two but... stretchy bracelets with a charm on either one. I can't believe that. I cannot. But I can't. 
There are five here. What does that equate to about one pound? <laughs> oh, Pasco, you sounded so moody that it was hilarious. Yeah, 79. I'm oh, 79. <laughs> one pound 79. Oh, we've got all the boys today, haven't we? We have. We've got the lovely Ollie. All the men, sorry, they want to be called men. We've got Ollie directing <laughs> that beautiful honk in the corner. We've got Pasco, that lovely Hello. man in the uh, corner. And then we've got, that was Michael. I'll, I'll take that boy. was Michael. I'll take boy. You'll take boy. Well, that's my impression of Pasco. Was that? Yes, OK. Hi. Nice of you to dress up. <laughs> Look at him this morning. Nice of you to dress up. Make an effort today. And we've got the lovely Dan. So there's our lovely Dan. Give us a wave, Dan. There you go, honestly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, uh, £1.79 each. Brilliant. Do you know what they make nice as well? You know, like when you have people round for sort of New Year's Eve or Christmas and stuff and you get, you've got their sort of champagne glass or wine glass. Nice uh, wine glass charms. Can I just say, I never need a wine glass charm. You never put your glass down. I never put my glass down. <laughs> do you resemble only that to, remark? Only to refill it. <laughs> no, I don't drink anymore, do I? Have you stopped? Yeah, Have you stopped? Yeah, the occasional. I'm oh, the same. Of, I've stopped for three months. A glass of port last night, but I mean oh, a I really little yeah, one. A little it. treat. Yeah, good okay. girl. Does help with the weight, doesn't it? Does. Yeah, it does. I'm, 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 I'm sleeping. It? Yeah, I'm yes. sleeping. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Now there's different. Oh, oh, I've got to have them. Oh, there's some that look like... No, hang on, which one? Oh, those. Yeah, they're lovely, but oh, we've got like a Rudolph. He's ace. <laughs> I've got to have him. Uh, now, I don't know about you. Does any of you go skiing? No. Oh. Value my legs. <laughs> oh, rubbish. <laughs> now, because my, um, my, my cousin, um, Steve Bennett and uh, Sarah Bennett, who, who own Gen Poor and used to own Jewelry Maker, they have got a beautiful ski lodge in Switzerland. Uh, they, go, they go all the time. Goodness me, it's fantastic. Uh, but they've got these lovely sequin pretend reindeer antlers on the wall. They're all pretend, they're all sequin, like, like Swarovski almost. They're fantastic. And I just think, again, that's such a lovely gift really nice. to give to someone. Now, that would be a good idea, because if you've got Sheila Davis, guest designer out there, she's a nightmare for stealing your glass. She will put her <laughs> glass down, and I guarantee you, she zones in on the one that's the fullest, and she picks that one up. She does. She'll, she'll admit to it. I need lessons from Sheila. Oh, she's brilliant. <laughs> she claps, but she does it so well that you would never think, you would never think that she, she, she claims she doesn't. She does. So again, wine glass charms. These would be nice for in a cracker. I was just about to say you could make some lovely little Couldn't bracelets you? and make your own crackers. Can I think we've had crackers, haven't we? Did we have a little bundle of, a couple of weeks ago? Did we? Well, make I your own know. crackers. Oh, did we? Yeah, make your own crackers. So. That's so. a good idea. Yeah, and then you can have those I've inside. I've just put my toilet roll in the recycling thing. Oh, well, they're perfect, aren't they? Yeah. So inside your crackers. Get me, I'll get it out then. So, these are 95 sterling silver and they're like £3.32 each. And they actually stand up, look. And they're 3D, aren't they? They're all the yeah. way around as well. Yeah, oh. that was a bit drunk, sorry. But yeah, a reindeer. How lovely. So the loop's in position. That can go straight onto a bracelet and it... What? Go on. Was, it, was I really brummy then? Was I? <laughs> was I? <laughs> was really she brummy. just went mad to me. She went, oh, lovely. <laughs> just so lovely. Reindeer. <laughs> all right, you lot. You know, that's the only that's the only time sometimes it I normally it when I get excited. Yeah. When I get excited to go like a real it's black country. Angry. That's what, that's or what when I'm angry. Like. Oh really? That's when I get angry. You don't want to see me angry, Michael. So yeah, <laughs> three pounds thirty two. It's good, isn't it? Can I just I've got to show thee. Oh, what did I say? Did I say two pounds thirty one first? Or did I get it wrong completely? Did I? So I was so oh I like that. You said no, you said three pounds twenty two twice, you daft apeth. Apparently, £2.30, well, I can't add up. Can I just show you these? I don't know if we've got them, but I've got to have these in these my life. These are lovely. Oh, look, they're a variation of the Rudolph. Oh, I need those. I need him. I need him. Put, we've had the red resin today that you can make oh, his nose do red. Do you know why that's so perfect? When I go skiing or if I go car, my nose goes bright red like a Belisha beacon. <laughs> bright red. Nothing I can do about it. I need a nose muzzle or something. So that, could you do me well? Seriously, could you? I need me like a teapot cosy on my nose because it goes, honestly, it's like a Belisha beacon. It's hell that you never lose like a me. scarf. Well. Just wrap a scarf. <laughs> which, honestly, I, I will pay you almost anything to put the red resin in there for me. All right. Sorry, I'm just negotiating with Fleur. These are um, 
These are going to be £4.95. So each Uno Pando, uh, 65 pence though. And he loves, I mean, that's proper Rudolph, isn't it? Look at him, he's so cute. He's so cute. You could make a lovely Christmas charm bracelet, couldn't you? Can I do one? Can she do one? Is she allowed? Is she allowed to borrow one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just sticking down on there yeah. so that you create a back. What can you do too? Because we can't put them back into stock, can we? And then I can have another pair of these. You do three, two, Well, we're not. He's trying to make one now. Anyway, £4.95 for little Rudolph. <laughs> oh, has anybody been in the shop yet that's been playing Christmas music? I haven't yet. Apparently, Next is doing it. Really? Apparently. And other shops which are available. But apparently Christmas songs are out there in the shops. Apparently. Sorry. Um, right then. Now these are proving way more popular than the stand-up ones. Because I think these are like a caricature, aren't they? Don't you think? Mm. They're more like a caricature. Proper Rudolph, aren't they? But yeah, if you've got the resin in the first kit, or if you weren't watching earlier and you've just joined us, we have got resin coming up in the second hour with the lovely Fleur. And she's just put in the... Can we see? We've got time. She's putting them ready. <coughs> oh, they're so... Look! Oh, oh, somebody just called me Zebra. I'll answer to anything. I don't mind. Zebra's fine. Oh, I'm going to have to give you the third one when we finish up. There oh, Donna. She says, hi, lovely ladies and team. Zebra, I have got you a set. Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna, you are lovely. Oh, Donna. Look at him. Thank you. I might be coming up to, to Manchester because I've just winked at a man on the online dating site from... I didn't realise. I thought Didsbury was in Wolverhampton. <laughs> Apparently it's Manchester. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll retract that eight, week. Eight to Z for you, though, for Christmas. <laughs> oh, I, you I thought we should Didsbury was down here. Obviously you not. Can't retract you can't retract Well, I've complained to, to the website. I've said you can't retract when you've accidentally favourited somebody that you didn't want to or you've winked at them. You can't take it back. It's embarrassing. Especially when they message you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, is there any left? Donna, thank you. Thank you. You might pay your bus fare, thank though. Thank you. You might pay your bus fare to go. I don't care what you pay. It's like going up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. I would. Actually, I did date a man from Manchester. But oh, he was, oh, he was tight. <laughs> oh. Oh. He was the tightest man I've ever met in my life. Oh, I'll wait till I tell you the stories in the break about this man. On. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Donna, you are an adorable lady. Thank you so much. Do be quick on these because they're £1.65, so you could make a pair of earrings. If you think about it, £3.30, plus you, plus you, we had a pair of shepherd hooks on for a pound the other day, so you can make it for less than a fiver. Yeah. Is it working with the resin? Yeah, yeah, it's in there. Michael, can I just say, Michael, put your face straight. I am going to give the third one to... to, to but I... No, hang on, you haven't, I haven't finished. I'm having <laughs> earrings and a pendant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look, I've been starved of jewellery making for seven weeks. I'm having it. I love you dearly, but... Do you want this, this one Do you want? Well? well, have we finished? Because I, I wanted to make it rude. <laughs> <laughs> have we seen how cute it is with his little red... No! No. Oh, we're on camera, by the way. Oh, oh sorry. That's all right. No, it's fine. Good Don't day. tip his nose out. <gasps> oh, that is so cute. Now, Hazel Collector, Leslie Collector, Sue Collector, Michelle, Sharon, Sandra, and a Ariel. What made me think of Ariel? Right, the Little Mermaid. Carol, I'm going to go out. I fancy going on watching that. Uh, now, what are you buying twos? I don't blame you. He's so cute. He is just Rudolph. Oh, what was that song me and you, that me and you fell in love with last year? Dominic the Donkey. Dominic the Donkey. <laughs> I love Dominic the Donkey, but it's not as good as Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, which is my <laughs> all-time favourite Christmas song. <laughs> it's very festive, is it? Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. It's very out for you liking that, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, look up. Have a listen, Wayne, if you've not heard Dominic it, to the Dominic the Donkey. the Donkey. Oh, it's hilarious. I was stood in fat face hmm? buying Christmas stuff, and I got how many bags of the shops are about. I had to put all my bags down. <laughs> Because I was so fascinated by this Dominic the Donkey. I'd never heard it till last year. He's a Christmas donkey. He's from brilliant. Italy. An He's Italian so Christmas funny. donkey. He's so funny. He's fantastic. Um, right then, we've got... Oh, sorry. Oh, all right. 
Sorry, everybody. Uh, well done. There are a few left, but they're nearly all gone. So good luck, good luck, good luck. In the moon, in the moon time, in the moon time. Moon. Uh, we are about to give you your star buy. We're arguing about the rain, don't we? We're actually so arguing it's about how much of an argument they can have in like eight seconds worth of an <laughs> argument. Can I just say that Zena won though? Arguing. No, she never. She did. She mentioned the steamer, and I don't know what that means, but there you anyway. go. Thank you, darling. Thank you. It's lovely with the red putting the resin in though, isn't it? Really nice. Um, Right then, my lovelies, uh, we're back to the Egyptians, we're back to Cleopatra. In fact, can I try this? Oh, oh hang on, you're right. Oh, no, I'm going to show you with silver. I was about to take my necklace off, and then I thought, oh, no. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not taking it off. I genuinely was going to take it off then, and then I thought, no, I'll change my mind. <laughs> but look at that, I want to show, because I think a lot of people do automatically opt for the more sort of voluptuous warmth of gold or rose gold with lapis, and it does look fantastic. I like the brightness and the whiteness of the silver yeah, with I lapis. Do, yeah, I think it's beautiful with yeah. the silver. Because you've got enough gold in there exactly. to have that mixed metal look. Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you what, you could just recreate what we've done there. Look, restrand it, add a little cheeky, lovely spacer of whichever colour, whether you like antique. Because I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter. Copper, antique, bronze, silver, gold, rose gold, they all go every, don't they? They do. They do. They do. Sorry, she's just creating Rudolph. Now, these are these fantastic... The thing is, when you're wearing your jewellery, I don't know about you, but I think we expect to see a round-shaped gemstone or a pear-shaped. Yeah. Is that a fair thing to say? And anything that's not, we class as a contemporary shape, don't we? Exactly. So this is going to sort of... You know when you take a double take? Or you suddenly look at something and you look again because you think, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is really important for when you make your own jewellery, because you try... I do think a lot of the time we'd like to stand out and we want people to notice what we've made. Well, that's it. And so, some people want their jewellery to do their talking and their clothes yeah. to stay in the background. Yeah. Other people are the other way around. Yeah. This would be your, your like you say, your stand-up talking Absolutely. point straight away. Yeah. And that's the lovely thing. I mean, this just looks... As Fleur's just I'm just going to mix it over the chain there. Super contemporary. Doesn't it? And again, don't you, don't be scared to mix and match your colours. I've got a very bold red top on today because of it being Remembrance Sunday, obviously. And um, so you can do a real contrast with colour. That royal blue. And if you're like me, oh, my goodness me, we are excelling ourselves today. That's, you don't mind me that's saying. That's brilliant, because that's a lot of gemstone in each one of those. Each one of those cubes is a real um, sort of like carrot weight isn't it by yeah. itself i mean look at that what we've done is we've graduated from a five mil um cube to an eight mil cube so we've given, given you a really nice gentle um graduation as well and these are solid so if you love wearing your denim they look fantastic they're one of the most beautiful famous opaque gemstones on the planet mix them up with turquoise they look yeah. awesome and carnelian as well that orange it does look lovely yeah, together doesn't it blue together yeah, it really, really nice. does and you know i'm partial to a pair of denim jeans yeah i think it looks so if you've got a really nice pair of nice pair of heeled boots you know suede or leather or whatever you like and then you put a really nice brightly colored top on like i've got on today bright red and then you add in a contrast to complement the denim of yep. the jeans this looks really 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 lovely and um, it's called now if you're thinking of making jewelry for your friends do you know what in the in the trade that jewelry uh, lapis lazuli is referred to the friendship stone that's nice. Isn't that lovely? That's really nice. So if you are thinking of making jewellery for your friends, hmm. then all your family, because hopefully you're friends with your family. Yeah. They can be challenging. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the and, and the stone of truth. Oh, that's yeah. So there's lots very of there's lot, yeah, and there's so much history steeped in lapis. Yeah. I, I have to say as well, I, th I think when you say that so many people love blue. Yeah. I mean, it goes so nice with your top today. Yeah, I mean, but I people gravitate towards blue straight away. Yeah. Blue, I think blue it's is very so it's a, it's a very mm. powerful colour, yeah. isn't it? I was watching a programme about how they edit programmes and they were saying that The Apprentice, because it's business, everybody's coloured, their eyes are more blue and they've got a blue tie on, it's even more vivid blue. Because ah, it says that that's it, interesting. apparently it says business as well to people. Oh, wow. Can I just say one more thing? I've got to ask, are these natural? <clears throat> wow. 
Oh. I would expect it they were dyed. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the value in lapis depends on the intensity of the colour. Now, usually, or a lot of the time, lapis is actually dyed to bring out that blue. If you can get that intensity of deep, deep royal blue and it's natural, that just makes the value soar. And look at these beautiful, beautiful inclusions. I mean, they are, it's like, it's like a beautiful clear night just after sort of midnight time. Yeah. Uh, when you've got all the stars twinkling, yeah. isn't it? That certain time yeah. of night. Yeah. It's a, it changes the colour of the sky, yeah, doesn't it? it does. If it's clear, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, really, really lovely. So, um, incredible. Absolutely incredible. 10.95. That's an amazing price, isn't it? It's a, I'll tell you what, that and the tourmaline today. Ridiculous. Right. Hang on. Shara White, one location gemstone. Yeah, so like your Tanzanite, your Sarite. You know, your ametrine normally pre drives the price up. Usually with a shara white, with those lovely, again, after purple, uh, after blue, I think purple, yeah. very wearable, yeah. very popular. Picture in your mind, if you've watched this regularly, you will have seen, hopefully, some shara white, rare, one location, Russian shara white. Now, do me a favour, close your eyes, if it's safe to do so. Close your eyes, right? Envisage the shape of the shara white that we normally bring you, Okay. Got your eyes shut. Now hang on a second, I'm gonna pick it up. Keep your eyes shut if you can. Hang on, I wanna hang on, hang on, hang on, let me get it ready. Okay, open your eyes. Willing to bet it was not that. No. Oh that is epic. That is oh. absolutely epic. It, do you know epic is the word because doesn't it show the the swirling, beautiful, fibrous effects of that shara white. I mean, that is just unbelievable. Because this, it goes under what? How much? Do you know what? I'm being funny. If you can get that price and put it in, please. I'm, we don't, I'm not making people wait for that. That's incredible because I would never have thought that. If you can get that yeah. under ten pounds. That's amazing. That's got to be wrong, hasn't it? And they're... Somebody's priced that wrong. Somebody's priced that wrong. Those I'm two telling you. Earrings. Can you imagine yeah? that? A pair of earrings. Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, Fleur's just saying, go for that. Because this has got your fibrous inclusions. It's got your Chatoyan CV Tiger's Eye. It's also got one of the only other gemstones other than Pearl that has got pearlescence. Mm -hmm. So it's got all of these magical qualities. We've never had Shara White like that, have we? Never. No, never. Never. That oh is my... absolutely. <laughs> that one look. The one that's, that's that's staying up here. That looks like an angel feather all by itself. It does doesn't actually, it? doesn't it? It really, really does. That lavender to purple as well. Yeah. I mean, it's got a lovely combination of the almost like a colour palette of purple. Yeah, it's, I mean, one of my favourite gemstones is seraphonite, and I was thinking oh, this is the yeah. purple seraphonite. Yeah, because it's, it's got similar. that same sort yeah. of like um, angel fibres, that that angel wing look to it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, feathers. Now, we just had, oh, has Denise messaged in? She says apparently they look really nice with pearls. I can show yeah. you that, actually, Denise, if you like. Beautiful with pearls. Well, I can either show it? you with some white pearls. Ooh, yeah. look at that. Lovely. Speaking of pearls, I've got a sneaky taster to show you the deal of the day pearls ahead of the launch on Wednesday. They are something else. We'll show you those in the next hour. Can I show you with these pearls? Because these are a nice colour, actually. Oh, by the way, I've got some amazing rutile quartz, black rutile quartz. Oh, sorry, that's not a pearl, that's a tourmaline. Pick up. Now, look at that. Oh, Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That is really lovely. That is a steel. How many of those left, please? The shadow white, yeah. Okay, now the good news is we had a, we had a, we had a reasonable quantity of the Shara White. So the good news is, even though most of you have checked out already, that, oh, Shaz has got them. Uh, for those of you that haven't yet checked out, if you check out now, I can satisfy you all. There's a promise. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I can satisfy each and every one of you. <laughs> all the boys are panicking, they're like, oh dear, here she goes. <laughs> they are fantastic. They truly they are. are. They are. They're, they're a collector's treat, they are. And I like the way we've just separated them with the tubes. With the tubes. They're lovely. Um, right then. Now, after the break, we've got another resin kit, haven't we? We have, yes. And we've got these lovely 
angel striped fairy wings. You you choose. You know, it's up to you because it, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yes. So you yes. choose and tell us what you think. Um, and are you going to show us how to do some more resin again? Yes, we're going to do lots more resin. Have you done that with the glitter? Yep. Oh, and we got the pots of the glitter. Yeah, we've got the glitter coming up as well. Yeah, we've got the pots of the glitter coming up. So, we're going to have a great demo. I'm going to give you, uh, after the break with Fleur, we're going to give you a sneaky peek of those pearls. And we've got a sensational star bite on black rutile quartz as well. See after the break. Are you new to jewellery maker? For a limited time we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewellerymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewellery Maker tutorials. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. I'm sorry, I've stood up. I know, I just noticed that. Yes, I'm supposed to stand up and I forgot. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Jewelry Maker. Happy Sunday. Uh, happy Remembrance Day. Um, uh, Fleur, my yes, lovely my girl. Darling. Hello, darling. Hello, Hello darling. darling. Is she lovely? Mm. I did wonder why we've got pop, uh, like lollipop sticks, but it's for the resin, isn't it? Can I just say that um, mm. we need the violet one, not the blue one? We need the violet, Danny boy. Can we have the violet one, not the blue one? Have we got it here? Yep. 
do, do, do. Dan, apparently... We need violet. We need violet, do we? You sure? He's got a point, hasn't he? Thank you. Do you mind if we borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right then, so we are about to give you a... I don't know about we. I bet Fleur's thinking, what are you going to do exactly? I'm just going to stand and watch. Fleur-tastic is going to give us a demo on resin. Now, do you, in case anybody doesn't know, what is... Resin. So resin is an epoxy, a two-part epoxy resin. So it's like um, a, a plastic, if you like. Okay. Um, it's what you use for lots of different industries. You can coat car, you paint cars with resin paint. Mm -hmm. You resin is used for lots and lots of things. The resin that we use here is made in the UK. So it's made by a company called Chemset for us. Mandy's amazing. They've been in the business for years and years and years. What they don't know about resin. Out worth knowing. knowing. There is no so we've got the best. smell. Yeah, there's no smell with this resin. The amount of colours that we can get with this resin is amazing, and the fact that we can mix the colours together is also amazing. And it's jewellery grade, which means it's high shine when it's finished. And you can add glitter. You can add glitter. <laughs> and we've got lots the glitter. of glitter. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So um, now the we have the what's this? So that's your acrylic block. So oh. that's what it looks like when it's got the blue plastic taken off of it. Oh, so that's it. Wait, wait, so that's just to protect just it. Just protect it, yeah. Just okay. so we don't get scratched. And that's Although what it, it looks doesn't, like. It doesn't matter if it gets scratched because you're using it, you know, for your resin. It does. Oh, bless it. I'm glad it says that because I'd have left it on. Remove your film from both sides. So do peel that off when you get it. Okay. Now this is the fairy wings kit. Let me show you the the, the fairy wings first of all. Fairy wings, angel wings, butterfly wings. Moths? No, we're not, doing, we're not doing butterflies. Oh, behave. She doesn't like butterflies. She doesn't like butterflies. Don't start her on butterflies. Well, she, she'll leave the studio knowing her. <laughs> so we've got here um, this lovely uh, sort of mythological uh, kit. So these are silver-plated, fairy wing... What are your classes? We've called it a pendant. There's no, I don't think we should label things here at Jewelry no, Maker. No, because I was going to make a pair of earrings. Yeah. Well, the thing is, as a jewellery maker, and you can back me up here, Fleur, the first yep. thing you look at that is, as, 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 you don't want to be told what you're going to do with it. No. no. It's the whole point of making your own yeah, jewellery. It is, yeah. It is. The yeah, first thing a jewellery maker, a, a seasoned professional jewellery maker will do, is go, well, I'm not making a pendant. Nope. You know, like when somebody tells you what you should do, or your other yeah. half tells you what you should do. Yeah. Even if you want to do it, you do the opposite, oh, you're not, you? you're not doing it then, no. <laughs> 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 when anybody tells you what to do, you're not doing it. <laughs> Yeah. Don't so, press that button first thing you do. Which button? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got um, three angel wings, fairy wings, butterfly wings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're 20 by 40 mil, so 40 mil at the longest point, 20 mil at, across at the widest point. And then, have we got the details? Because I've only got the wings. Have we got any details on the resin aspect of the kit? Okay, so you, what you Could should... you talk us in? Yes, because definitely, no we've not. They've decided to just... Keep you in the dark. Keep you in the dark. It. So, as you know what you're talking about, a damn sight more than me with regards to resin. If, ooh, oh, you can keep that one because that, that tells you all about. So, with ooh. every resin pack that you get from Jewelry Maker, now you'll get, you get these that, help sheets. So it's like a well, guidance note, and then the the actual instructions on the back. So if you forget, then you know how to, to mix it and, and oh, what to do. Brilliant. And you've got this as well. So in this. So he likes a wide margin, don't they? They do, don't they? <laughs> well, see, I like wide spacing on my letters. Yes, I mean, yeah. yeah. I like when you do the actual extra space between the lines. Yeah, I, yeah. I have very flourishy, scrawly yeah. writing. Yeah. So in this resin kit, you get two different colours of resin. So you get a transparent um, violet resin, which is like your purple. Okay. So you get that, which is your translucent. Translucent, obviously, you can see through it. Yeah. Um, and then you get this, what we call a special effects resin, which <gasps> is a, a white pearl. So <gasps> we'll show you that when it's mixed in a second. And you've got like a, a real pearls crushed down, and you get that pearlescent look to it. So, is it really real pearls? Yeah, so really? We, well, I believe so, yeah, because we use micas um, and glitters in, th in these thixotropic, what we what they class as a special effects resin so with resin whatever you put right. in resin usually sinks to the bottom if it's heavier so glitter will sink to it the bottom in the bath. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you sink to the bottom you don't sit on the top right so when you put this into a mold all the mica particles and glitter particles if you were to mix them into just normal resin by yourself would sink to the front so a little oh. bit like this so i put this this was made this way around and all oh. those mica particles sank to the bottom. 
Okay. I see. So all that goes to the bottom there, so you can see that they're oh, all there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the rest of the resin stays at the top, and then you sort oh, of okay. add the, add the That's petals. That's interesting, But because the it? petals float, because they're lighter, they stay on the top. Oh. So if you want to create a pearlescent resin, um, you need a special resin called a fixotropic resin, which is slightly thicker, to suspend those particles within the resin. So this is what we've got here. Right. So it's already mixed up for you. Okay. So with every resin, you always need a hardener. Okay. okay, so for that, that chemical makes sense. reaction okay, to, to go you. ahead. Yep. So these are what we class as low viscosity resins or type A resin. Okay. So they, t they go with this hardener. Now, there is two different kinds of resin that we do here at Jewelry Maker. We do this variety and we also do a dome in resin as well. Um, could you just... There's, yeah, there's what do you want? The one there, the white cap. This one. White cap, yeah. There you go, sweetie. So if you ever get confused and you've got two and you don't know which oh, ones they are... Oh, this is a good tip. The white cap always goes with the dome in resin and the black cap always goes with the colours and the, and the sort of like special effects resins. But obviously when you put your pipette into that bottle, they're both right. them black. You, so you just need to make sure this one does... And you get that pipette, do you? You get the pipette oh, as brilliant. well. So brilliant. Everything's okay. there so you can very very precisely measure out your resin so you need two parts of your resin to one part of your hardener um, with these little um, bits are uh, these little fairy wings mm -hmm. then you literally use I probably use a about like two grams to do all three of them okay so you don't need very many at all okay brilliant so that will go a long way a long long way now you obviously we've got only one hardener here so you haven't got enough hardener to mix all of this resin together okay but what happens is you, you sort of like use very few of those resins yep that you you're gonna have lots of hardener. okay so sort of like mixed how long together. does it how long is it once you've opened it how what kind of shelf life so chem set say six months but i've had resin that have been opened for longer than six months and it's absolutely fine to really use. oh but right. make sure it's so kept in a, yeah keep it in a dark place um just because resin doesn't like sunlight so resin it's not in a cupboard yeah, just in a okay. cupboard, yeah. So yep. resin, if you did clear resin and you left it one. in the sunlight, it would go like an amber. It would go oh, an amber colour. Oh, wow. So, um, so I that's... I love that with the glitter. And the, the glitter just turns, changes it to different It colours. does, doesn't it? I've, got, um, I I've, done, I've done a resin show with you with glitter before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so great. much fun. And we do have the pots of the glitter coming up, so we've got those coming so up as well. I, I just did a little, um, a little peach... I was going to say, can I just swap those out because it's not a white pearl that we get. We get a pink pearl resin, so we get the pink oh, pearl okay. rather than the white pearl. So oh, okay, sorry about that. that. That's okay. Um, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get, get it right today so at you, some so point. You get, so you get the pink, the pink pearl resin. So that would be even more lovely. Yeah. So I've mixed them together just to um, just to show you what they look like in larger sections, so you can see there that you've got the the translucent um, violet resin and the pink pink pearl resin and then I've just added a little bit of glitter to that pendant as, as you well. do as you do well that's just what I had left so I mixed three grams of each one so two grams of resin one gram of hardener and that's what I had left out of doing all three of those fairy wings so I had all that resin left wow over. right hang on a minute there's some confusion right just stop a sec so hang on on our website our photo is showing blue. So why have we done that then? Who's responsible? Who do I need to talk to? Hmm? Hmm? What will our lovely jewellery makers get? Please. So what you will see, you know the photo, ignore it. You will get the violet, you will get the pink. You will get the pink pearl, turn it round. You will get the violet. Ah, oh, the photo is being disruptive. So, pink pearl, violet, violet, pink pearl. Any confusion, if you get it home and you, weren't, you didn't pay attention or you got it and you didn't get the colour you want, you send it back. Mm. Okay, because the photo is wrong. But I can guarantee you, you will get the acrylic block, the pipette, the hardener, the silver plated uh, angel <coughs> wings, the violet and the pink pearl, okay? That is what you will get. 
Now, I when I go and visit my stepdad in Sherbourne, in Dorset, they've yeah. got like a, one of those present shops. Yeah. You know, that sells everything. And they've got a lovely array of resin jewellery, and there is not a single piece of resin jewellery for less than £30. No, there won't be, yeah. It's, uh, it's, no. It can be quite expensive. Yeah. Some pieces of resin jewellery can be very expensive. You do get the instructions as well. You've not seen this yet, do you, have you? Watch. Oh! <laughs> Isn't it cool? Oh! That's what you can do with resin. Oh, that is so lovely. I'm going to try and get a kit together. I'm going to go and speak to the writing yeah. tomorrow so we can yeah. get a kit for this, but yeah. you can make your own. Oh, we've got to have that. I want that. I need that. I need that in my life. Mm -hmm. Can we iron those? I mean, you've not, I mean. I'm going to iron paper. Oh, you can. <laughs> um, right then, so I tell you what, then the code is BHXC69. Lots of. Now that is proving very popular. Very, very popular. And this is the first time today that we've seen the pink pearl. Is it? So we've had the white pearl in, oh, in and the blue in a oh. different combination and a different kit that we did earlier. So this is the first time we've seen the pink pearl today. So if you if you are starting to add to your collection, yep. then, That's then this is one that you. And need. if you are doing fairies. Yeah. You know, and unicorns you and things. Need. You're going to need pink, aren't you? You do. You definitely do. But when you mix them together, when you mix pink, pearl and violet together... Oh, wow. You get... You get, you get an amethyst. This. You get amethyst, yes. If I just turn that around... Oh, so that is see. beautiful, Fleur. That and really that's just is beautiful. a little bit of glitter in there as well. Did I mention we've got glitter coming up? Oh, can you imagine that added in with a shar the Sharawite? Have you seen the... Um, so I, that's what I did to try and emulate the Sharawite. Wow. These are pieces of resin. Resin is just... It's so, so amazing. It you really love it, is. don't you? Yeah, I do. That looks fantastic, that does. That is really lovely. So, now, can I... How many, how many of the kits we got, love? Oh, we've got a reasonable number, then. Brilliant, fantastic. Um, would you recommend resin kits... Okay, here's the thing. Let's say you're somebody like me and you're not particularly proficient, you're not particularly experienced in jewellery making. Is it something a novice can do? Completely. Yeah, you 100%. don't have to have any, any skill of jewellery making whatsoever. <laughs> Great. All you need to be able to do is to read the um, dial on your scales to make sure that you weigh it out properly. That okay. is the only bit that you have to... Not concentrate for, but just be a little bit precise okay. on. So as long as you're precise with your measurements, Brilliant. then the rest of it is playtime, and so you get an hour to play. I so like that play um, time. you've got an hour to play with this resin. I mean, if it's oh, hot it, like it is right, now, okay. then you've got an hour before it starts to go off. I personally like it when it starts to go off because you can do yep. more artwork with it. Can the kids do it with you? Yeah, they can. Great. Yeah, like I say, I was, I was saying to Lara earlier, um, as long as they're not of an age where they put things in their mouth. Okay. Because obviously and it's you don't want ideally, to ingest this. And, and they can use gloves as well, the they kids, can use gloves, they? yeah, and they can use um, a barrier cream as well. So Great. a barrier cream, absolutely yeah. perfect. Just to okay. pop on your hands, just to create Great. that little barrier. And then just like a, an apron or something like that, just okay. to protect their clothes. Brilliant. And, these like these have just revolutionised my workspace. Oh, we can't hear these. We need to get some no, of these. No, we're going to we? get them. We're going to get, some, get some of these. So these Good. are just a, a thick silicone mat that nothing yep. gets spilt. Then Fantastic. it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So great. Setting up the the um, fairy wings is exactly the same premise as setting up the um, the garland that we did earlier. Okay. So have you seen the garland? It's, it's beautiful. Amazing, it? I watched you do. It's oh, just, it's just gorgeous. So. So the exactly the same setting it up um, as as that. So you're going to just cover the back in in sticky tape. Um, like I said before, try and go for the most expensive brand of sticky tape because it's more stickier. Because you need to create a back to these bezels because they're open bezels. So you need to create that back to them. Now what you do have to do with these ones is the jump ring is like soldered in place. Unfortunately, to keep it level, um, you had take off the um the actual jump ring so you can if you just cut that with your flush cutters then you can pop that back on afterwards so we need to remove this jump ring and then you can um then keep it flat so you can see that, oh, that, that it would sense. stop it from being because oh, yeah, otherwise flat. it'd have a bit of an angle wouldn't it you can sort of like hang it off over the edge but because of where the jump ring was situated it can be quite difficult yeah. make it easy for yourself that's it so what i've done yeah. is i've stuck it down onto my little acrylic block yep so I'm just doing one at a time here, but if you um, if you wanted to, you could arrange the type to, you know, have them the other way around. So that's just all the sticky tape on the back, and then I've just sticky taped over the edges okay. just so it's nice and flat. Yep. And then just make sure that you've got a real nice bond between. Now, because these haven't got a very deep well, 
you're not going to use a lot of resin. Oh, so right. like a bezel, you would use a lot of resin, you know, so you've got you deeper to fill, haven't you? That's it, mix a lot of resin. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to mix the pink okay. pearl because we showed how to mix the um, transparent in the earlier one, but this one is a little bit different because it's not got a dropper bottle. So you use your, your lollipop oh. sticks to actually... And have we done the lollipop sticks already? And we've got some available, have we? Just before, while you get ready, yeah, no could we just pop the glitter on? Of course. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> now, this is limited. Fairy dust glitter. Fairy dust glitter. Now, we had about 90 odd and about 20 have gone already. You do get all three. You get the baby blue. You get the, um, now I'm just going to confirm here, the baby blue, the marshmallow pink. Is that plus it's, it's got, it's, it's, it's like a, um, what I probably class it as a German gold. So it's like a, a, a gilt gold. It's like yes. a, yes. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, it's got like a silver and gold together. Oh, that is just gorgeous. 5 95 Now I know you don't expect this of us. But that is right. <laughs> that is correct. We've got to be right. We've got to be right this morning. We've got the right colours. In the photo, right colours in the photo. Right colours on the description. Perfect. We're there. <laughs> Wrong guest designer. I'm taking that to the bank. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We've excelled ourselves at... Uh, but there you go. So, yeah, you get the baby pink, you get that fantastic sand gold. And uh, the marshmallow pink. Funny enough, I was looking for marshmallows yesterday. I just fancied oh, I a marshmallow. The, marshmallow. the mini any. ones yeah. to go in your hot chocolate. No, I like the big fat one that you shove in your... Like that. Where Can you I toast them? Well, when I went to Bonfire Night the other night, I got some mega marshmallows. I kid you not, they were that big. They were... Did what? Toast them? I toasted them. They were oh. ace. Anyway, so the glitter... Wrong price. What does that mean? Like, are we talking like one pound ninety nine a pop? And this isn't normal glitter. So this is like glitter that you would go to that hobby and oh yeah, the, the, if shops. you were crafty, that's it. Yeah, because this is ultra fine glitter, and I'll show you when it get, when like we dust, put, we'll it? put some in. Can I borrow those? Because which know, yeah? Can you, do you which colour do you want? Pop it. Um, can that I one. have yeah the sand <laughs> gold? Yes, thank which you. Which one do you want? <laughs> Yeah. That one. Um, but it's, it's ultra fine, so it does suspend nicely, but it will still sink a little bit to the bottom. Um, but as you can see on this one, it's sort of like floated and gone over the top of the pink as well. Oh, so I don't even yeah. see. Oh, wow. It's, it's just a really, really beautiful glitter to use. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, can you use that like if people are making Christmas cards and things? Yeah, of course you can. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, good yeah. glitter for... glue on and then... Great. And you can burnish it into polymer clay, I believe, as well. And you oh, can burnish fun. it into your oh, serolin as well. So, yeah, you can burnish it in... Yeah. Well, resin and serolin, they're, they're best mates. Because they, they're, they're epoxy, yeah. they're both epoxy, so Fantastic. they both work together really, okay. really nicely. Right, do you want me to open it up for you? Go on, then. There you go. Right, so when you're mixing your special effects resin or your, your pink pearl, you'll notice that you don't have a, like a dropper bottle with this one. So what we need to do is use our lollipop stick to actually, um, I, I don't know if there's a better word than ladle, ladle, ladle. it out. No, I like that. <laughs> that sounds ladle. a bit clumpy though. No, I like that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure two grams of this resin. So again, like we said before, it's, if you're brand new to resin, do two grams resin, one gram hardener, because it's your two to one ratio. So you won't f try and have to work out. So if you start with three grams resin, you need one and a half grams hardener. So then keep you've got to try yourself. to keep it simple to start with. And you'll see, you'll see just how much um, resin you get from three grams of the two mixed together. Okay. Now, you do need to mix this a little bit before you start. So I'm just going to give that a little mix just to get those particles well, it's like a pot together. of paint isn't it you have to, it is, you have to stir yeah. it before you start but painting can you see that it's a lovely you get pink like isn't it it's like like a pearlescence isn't yeah, it yeah you get like a strawberry swirl Ooh, that's going through there yeah. as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by just adding in a little bit at a time so don't go too mad and put too much in and then have to sort of like decant back into the into the pot so i'm just going to keep adding this in till i get to two grams so again this can be, um, because you haven't got the dropper bottle, just take it slowly, but it is easier to sort of like take it back out if you need to. So I'm just going all the way up, and I appreciate you can't see the, the little blue um, display, on, but Xena can be my 
and what I'm doing is I'm just going to tap, exactly, yep. tap the scales. Now what I'm doing is I'm just wiping everything off because I don't want any of that to no. stick or to get mucky. So I'm just going to wipe around the top of the bottle and just wipe the, the stick there. There we go, it's got back to the Okay. Top. Okay, lid on so that I don't knock it off. And I don't knock it off, it's highly likely. So I'm now going to go in with my hardener yep. and I'm now going to do one so you gram need one of gram. That's okay. That's it. So I'm just, just add it slowly. Add it slowly, that's yep. it. I bet you can't see the numbers, can you going up very well? Can you see it? Like 2.7. Just see that's it. it. So you can see I'm just tapping the scales yep. every single time. So I don't want to say that half of half of the pipette is usually about half a gram because I don't want you to no, go lie over, on that. if no. you know what I mean. So I've okay. now got to my three grams of resin. So now what I'm going to do is take my lollipop stick again. Now I've made sure I've wiped all the resin off of this because if I've got too much resin on this, You'd I can add ruin, to it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. going to add to it. So okay. just make sure that it's completely yep. free of any resin. Okay. I'm going to turn the scales off, move that out of the way. Now, because we've got Zena. We have to put the glitter in as well, don't we? Yeah. So by itself, that is a beautiful colour. It is, but, but it's just what we can do is we can take a little bit of glitter. Oh, I love glitter. And we can add it in and we can stir do, do, that do, around. Do, 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 do. And now, not only do we get pearl, oh, pearl essence, and I'm just going to swap that cocktail, uh, that lollipop stick over because I wiped that with um, a baby wipe and I've now got... This is why we don't use baby wipes. Can you see? Oh, we've got all some those, stragglers. All those got some stragglers. On there. Oh See? no! Oh no! Get that off! I don't Can't like use it. that. So we're going to move that one out of the way. I cleaned out the. I, cle I put some of that gluggy stuff down my shower. Hole oh, drain. And my sink. Just made me think of that yesterday. Yeah. When it clicks all your hair. Yeah. That's what got, I just thought. Ooh, that he did that job yesterday. Oh, that's a nice job to do. It was a lovely it? job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to add a little that's bit more, more glitter just in there. Just put in. You can't put the whole oh. thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix okay. that around. So what we've got now is we've got our pink pearl glitter, but we've got elements of... That is gorgeous. We've got pink pearl, sorry, and then we've got the, the glitter as well that's in there. So because this is made in a fixotropic resin, we were talking earlier about how... You love saying um, that, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, um, it does. That's the only thing I know that's really clever. Um, how the translucent resins are more like water because yeah. they're low viscosity. Yeah. So this is more of a, it's like halfway between a doming and a uh, low viscosity. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to bring our, our little element over and make sure that we've got our cocktail, stick. cocktail sticks ready because we can't drop it in with our lollipop stick again because it's too big it's too small an area okay. we can't be as precise as we need to be okay so do you want me to hold that i'm gonna get you to do it <gasps> okay there you i don't go. need asking twice with resin so what you need to do is so you've done resin a couple of times mm, yeah not very often no. so you can see and this is no disrespect to you, but no, just how it's easy it is to, um, you know, so to actually... If I can do it, anybody can do it. So if I just quickly show you, yeah. it's exactly the same premise as what we did earlier. So we get a little bit on our cocktail stick and then we just dab it onto the side. So I'm holding this on about a 45 degree angle. So I'm just picking that up and then all I'm going to do is pop it in the middle and you just keep adding drop by drop okay. until you, fill it. you start to fill that area. So there you go. I'll let you Thank carry you. on. You're all right there on that yeah. angle. So, so just it there. That's it. So a less is more, and then you can add more because if not, you can have to try and clean all that off okay, of the I've of the silver so that's that there. there. That's it. And you just dab it in. And then what we need to do now is we need to introduce it around the edges. So just like draw it round if you like. So almost like you're painting. Yeah. So just paint that little area there. That's it. And again, we're not doing this under a magnifying glass, so I would prefer to do this under a magnifying glass. Well, I was glass. just going to say as well, and I've got contact lenses in, so that does not help. Yeah, so that now has got enough resin in there, that's perfect. So just paint it round a bit. That's it, and then just pull it round, <gasps> that's that perfect. that glitter, that is gorgeous. But what we can do, if we want a little bit more glitter in there... <laughs> yes. What we can do now is... <laughs> do you want it back? Get, we can get the glitter... Have I put enough in there? Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, and what you can do is you can put a tiny bit of glitter on there and then just tap oh. and literally just very, very gently tap because this glitter is going to sit on the top. 
so you can see now how we had the glitter in the resin oh, that's but lovely. what will happen is the glitter that's in the resin will tend to settle underneath so when we take the sellotape off at the end when it's all cured the glitter will be on one side and we'll have glitter on the other as well <coughs> and then just blow that little tiny bit away now the easiest way to clean if you need to take a little bit of resin off of the edge we don't hear because Zena's done an amazing job mm. but what you need to do is to get a clean cocktail stick and just very gently just just clean and then okay. kitchen towel yep. and then clean and kitchen towel yeah. try don't try and like no. with, the, with the wooden one we were, we could get in there but because these areas are closer yeah you just you're easier to clean and then then take away so can i be rude yeah of course you can it's dead easy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, you, that's not <laughs> being rude at all. Say. That's not being rude at all. And yet, it's simple. And yet, because of these lovely silver plated, uh, like you had with the wreath, and then we've got with these um, lovely angel wings, feather wing, uh, fairy wings, whatever you want to call them, because, and when we've got the bezels and things, yeah. you can get a really high end finish and look. Yeah. And you're just creating the easy bit. Yeah. Aren't so if you? I just mix a tiny little bit of the um, translucent violet resin, this and then one. we can mix the yep. two together as well, okay. so I can show you lovely. what you it like looks it? like. So we've got two little areas there. Right. So How long does it take to dry to set? It takes about 12 to 24 hours, depending on the heat okay. uh, where it is. But it needs to be in a dust-free environment. So, you know, just one of those little. Um, uh, Tupperware or like a cake cover, ca cake cover, anything That's like that, idea. just over okay. the top, just to create its own little environment. Yeah, um, just so that you are there's no sort of like of pet hair. Oh, I just need to borrow that one. Okay, thank you. Um, just no pet hair or any sort of like okay. filaments in the air. Is that two and one again? This is two and one okay. again. So you can see just how much we've we've actually made. Yep. So, so it will go last a long oh, time. It lasts this, a long, it? long time. So that should be nearly three grams now it's great value for money isn't it tell you what they're making a fair whack of profit in these shops on resin jewelry then aren't oh, yeah. they yeah there Gosh. we go we've got our three grams well it was on three grams let's just put one little drop okay. in it there we go three grams yeah and now when you're stirring this together we're not whisking it so we're not doing a, a mary berry we're just stirring it slowly so we don't want to introduce a lot of air so bubbles this as a fold a fold is very good mm. and it does say to mix it for about two minutes but I tend to get a bit bored after about a minute and a half. That doesn't sound like you, Fleur. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, just mix that around. So all you're doing by mixing it together, you're introducing the two elements together. So if I just move that out of the way and we get another pot. So you can see how strong... Oh, sorry, I do apologise. Uh, you can see how strong that violet colour is. Okay, yeah. So that's a very, very strong violet colour. Now, if you had any clear low viscosity resin you could water this down but what we want to do is we want to try and make a violet pearl okay. glitter yeah okay mm. so what we're going to do is always remember that the strongest color you only need a little bit of okay you need more of the lighter color are you going to mix the two you're going to mix the two oh, together brilliant. so you can either mix the two together either when you're weighing <laughs> it out or you can do it like this which is how i prefer to do it yeah. so i've got a little bit of resin in there yeah and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of resin in here and then you can swirl it together. I love resin. I'm just going to put three, literally just three drops. Come on, dropsy. There we go. Okay. And then if I give you that, and then if you want to stir that together, and you'll see then that you've colour cocktailed, if you like, your own bespoke colour. Ah. And all you need to do is you can just like remember how much you've put in. Now, if you want to keep it swirled like that, you just add it in when it's swirled, but you just keep going and you get that beautiful... Lavender. Oh, that is like a rose de France. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And then you can use that to add in a little bit more to oh, your family clever. ring. Oh, Can I do it? Yeah. Let me just move that one out the way for you, just so that... Isn't it? I'll tell you what, what I'm finding with this as well is, normally you'll notice when I've got a guest design it, I don't want to get involved because I don't think I can do it as well. Um, but actually, I... I'm, I feel like I want to snatch it off yeah. so, And do you know what? Do you know the... Um, Two years ago, there was a lot of um, the adult colouring books. This, I find oh, this yeah, they're still exactly big. the same. I find this yeah. very, very therapeutic. That's so I'll it. put it in a different thingy now. Yeah, so just pop it in. <gasps> oh, I felt, do you know, I felt like That's I got it. too much then. I panicked. That's fine. But because of this silica mat... I'll turn don't... it round a bit so I can yeah, it's a funny angle for yeah. my hand. Do you know, they're telling me I've got to stop in a minute, but I'm having too much fun. How am I going to stop? 
Is that you know what I'm going right? to do? Go on. I'm going to give you a set of scales and give you the rest of this resin. Oh, yeah, baby. And these, um, these oh, yeah. little angel wings, and you can uh, take them home and you can. Oh, you're make lovely. Them. And then Thank you can you. tell us what you've made. Oh, can I? And then I can bring it in. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I think it's because it used to be called Doodle Art when I was a kid. And I would sit at my mum's kitchen table for eight, nine hours constantly. And just make. Colouring. Just yeah, colouring. Just make. Just loved colouring, and, you know. But I don't feel like that... I've done that one as well. Is that all right? Of course, yeah. you can add more to it. Yeah, OK. It's because you're under pressure. Under pressure. Oh, it's so... It's so exciting. It's it, actually it really exciting it's... to... You know, it's, you, you feel like you're catching your breath as you're trying to make yeah. sure you don't get any... You know, don't go outside the lines or don't put too much in. It's... But you can see, so this is... I've, I've used the ones... There you go. That we've used... We've got enough resin there to do all three yeah. of our fairy wings and it doesn't look like we've even touched any that of is, them. That is, that is lovely. And then you'd leave that for sort of 12, 24, 12, 24 hours? 24 hours, yeah. Just, well, what I would do is I'd pop a little dab of resin onto the um, sticky back plastic there. Yep. Don't put your finger in the bit that's in the, nope. in the fairy wing. Just test that one. When that's nice and cured and hard yep. all you can do then is just peel back the, the sticky tape off wear. the back and it's, it's ready to wear and then you just add it put your jump ring back on so keep those jump rings handy that you took off that's incredible add it to a chain it? and so it's quite a quick make go. oh very quick it, if you've got the bezels take, and things that's it it doesn't take long to wow. make wow so thank see. you i think you'll love resin how many baskets 15 of the kit oh is there any glitter left yeah, not many of the glitter left. Uh, thank you so That's much. Right. I'm going to get you everything ready thank, oh, after the thank show. Thank you. Mm. And you can make a play. <laughs> thank you. I'm really genuinely will as well. Um, right then, we've got a. Thank you so That's much. Right, we've got a Christmas cracker deal coming up for you, and I think it's got its own kind of inclusions in it. Just trying to tidy up and bang me hand. Oh, you are right. No. Kiss it better. <laughs> go on then. <laughs> there you go. Has it stopped hurting? No? Yeah. Yeah, that's then. right. <laughs> um, right then. Um, sometimes we love a gemstone that is lovely and it's got lovely clarity. There are no inclusions. I mean, like a flawless diamond. And it's what we're looking for. And then there are... That's what I love about gemstones. And then on the other extreme, sometimes we want an opaque gemstone like the lapis. Yeah? And sometimes we want a translucent like the Ethiopian Opal. We're giving you everything today, haven't we? And sometimes we want... It, it's unusual. Sometimes there's a gemstone where the more inclusions, the better. So there's such the so and that's wow. what we're talking about <laughs> today. Now, I have bought you Rutal Quartz before, but I... Did go into the buying team on Friday and say, "Can we? Is it? Do we have any of the high-end black rutal inclusions on the quartz?" I said, "Because it's a to me, not all gemstones are created equal. We have rough nuggets, we have shards, we have all sorts, and then we have the high end. This is without question on jewelry maker the best rutal yes. quality black rutal quartz that we have. The best." I mean, real gem quality. No two ways about it. There's no arguing. There's normally a two sides to an argument, but I just don't see that there is with those. I really don't. I mean, this wonderful, incredible... This is Mother Nature doing her colouring, isn't it? She's got her sort of black pen of Mother Nature and she has scribbled back and forth, hasn't she? Do you know you were talking about sort of like... Um, modern day artist I see this as like yeah. a, a modern day art I can see this yeah. in the Tate Modern as, know, a, yeah. as a piece of art form. yeah absolutely uh, I mean it, it's like mother nature's graffiti yes isn't yeah. it yeah it really is mother nature's graffiti um, and it's they are mesmerizing one thing it will I think pretty much guarantee you is people will ask you what it is because it's fascinating um, and there's no other gemstone like it. Now look at that. Now some of these will have more than others. But what I love about these ones that we've got, the, the gemstone quality, is sometimes when you've seen our sort of um, 
you know, sort of more uh, entry level route on inclusions. There is a mixture of somewhere they're almost clear. They're almost just a clear court. Some have got a little bit of the of the of the black inclusion, the black rutile inclusion, hence the name. And it's like a needle-like hair effect. Mm -hmm. Whereas these, because of the quality, these every and if I just show you down to this end here, if I hold that out there, look, right down to the smallest one on the strand, every one is heavily packed with these needle-like inclusions. And if we just open that up and go through the whole strand, just to prove my point. That's what, that's what you get. Aren't they incredible, Fleur? Absolutely. They're, they're mind-blowing, these. I love rutile quartz. I used to use Aren't a lot they? of rutile quartz when I did a lot of horsehair jewellery. So a lot oh, of horse, right, OK. You can't say a lot of horses have dark hair, but a lot... Um, Yours you, does. See, you seem to have a lot more. <laughs> My hair's well, got blonde hair. Oh, really? He's got blonde, oh. Yeah, he's got blonde highlights. Oh, bless yeah. him. Although he is... Uh, this is Winston stark, we're talking yeah. about, the horse. Um, but I used to use a lot of this to emulate the... Um, the effect. The effect. Yeah. Ah, that's interesting. Now, look at that. That is show-stopping. Real show-stopping splendour. Yeah. And I think if you've got that, dare I say, that little black dress, a little bit of black velvet, this... Do you know... Genuinely surprised yeah, at I our prices this would be about today. I mean, those Ethiopian opals were a steal earlier on today oh, at fifty nine ninety five. They would go beautiful. Wouldn't together. they just? Wouldn't they just? This would make uh, for me as well, um, because you've actually got a Mohs hardness scale of seven, so you've got a nice durability about this. So don't be scared about setting it into a bracelet. Yeah, or make yourself like one of these. You could do one of my stretchy bracelets. Look, we had all, oh, we have that great zero point five mil and zero point eight mil black. Um, elastic on the show last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yes, baby. That. We had that on the show last week. Um, now, if you've got any of that 0.5mm or 0.8mm, but 0.5mm especially, and you want to sort of add some of these in sterling silver or whatever colour, then you add one of those in the centre as the feature gemstone. That would look great, mm, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. So, um, what, what I love is, as I say, um, the sort of the lesser quality black rutile quartz, you'll have lesser of the, of the black rutile inclusions. The more rutile inclusions you get in a black rutile, I, I mean, this is common sense, isn't it? You don't really need me to tell you this, but obviously, if you are making black rutile jewellery, what is it you want? Lots of rutile. Of course you do. You want lots of rutile inclusions, don't you? So the more rutile inclusions, the more value. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to ask, I know it's brilliant, but we've made a couple of faux pas, very important faux pas, faux pas today, and I feel awful. We all do, as a team. We all collectively feel genuinely awful. So we're going to have to go all out on everything, and we have so far. I'm going to ask, can we take, can we take any more? Please. Just a pound or two. Do you know what? Hang on, right. I tell you what. Let's no. Let's go. Let's do. Let's go all out. Let's go all out. Let's do it. Okay. Now, just to mention, I don't have to persuade a single person to check out at twenty nine ninety five. Are you all happy with twenty nine ninety five? Davinia's had two. Would you like us to make you very happy? Would you like us to make you ecstatic? Go on. Let's do it as a team. Let's all say thank you to our amazing loyal jewellery makers. This is huge. Huge. I didn't think he would do it. <laughs> a third <laughs> off the price. Oh. Wow. A third off the price. And look at that graduation. Isn't it beautiful? Again, just do what we've done there. Add some little yep. spaces in. Yep. If you wanted to. Isn't that lovely? It's absolutely beautiful. That is a really... I've never seen black rutile quartz with such amazing rutile inclusions. Oh, this is this is rare. We don't yeah. get this very often. Because I'm used to seeing I've them seen with one quite before. thick. Yep. And sort of like the this is very distort balanced. Distort the yeah. whole gemstone. This is just ultra fine, beautiful. Oh, Nikki's just said hi. My grandpa was in the RAF during World War Two. And in 1943, he was sent to Burma, where he worked behind the Japanese lines. He was awarded the Burma wow. Star. Wow. wow. That is amazing, isn't it? Wow. wow. Amazing. How lovely to have that in your, you know, that yeah. you can tell those stories as well. 
Oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well done. Um, what I will just say about this as well is, as Fleur's just said, you look at more value in more routine inclusions, but sometimes it looks very, it can almost look at too, it's too, they can either be Felt very, it, ben. yeah, exactly. They can be very fine or very, almost like a thick, a thick yeah. pen, absolutely. They can be quite dense, they can be crisscross and everything in between. We have had to cut this, very, we've had to get a really, there we go, but turn that around so you can see, look, there you go. It's so balanced with those needle-like inclusions, we have had to hand select every single one of these and cut it to such a perfection into those fantastic rondelles. And that's what gives you this really high-end gem quality black rutile. It really is something special. It's gorgeous. There's no two ways about it. And I'll tell you what, we have given you a third off the price. We didn't have to. But I think loyalty, this is like your loyalty bonus of the day, yeah. isn't it? For being so lovely to us and for being so understanding. And I know we upset some people earlier on today and we do, we are very apologetic, truly apologetic. And um, it's nice for us to, to be able to look after you as well. You know, it makes us, I'll be honest, as, as, as a team, myself and my guest designer and my lovely crew, when we get to pass this saving on to you and look after you, it makes us feel good as it well, does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a nice feeling being, look at, being able to look after your friends, isn't it? And make your friends feel good. Doesn't cost anything, does it? Well, it's cost us a third off the prize, but there you go. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, well done. I'll show you on one more time. If I was at home, and then when I come off air in quarter of an hour, if there's any left, and because you've got the rondelles, I'll be getting those. Because they've got the rondelles, look, Flo, you've got movement as well, sweetheart. Beautiful. That I think I'd like to see that in a slider bracelet as well. Oh, yeah. Just three, oh, in a, three in a slider bracelet. I haven't seen the slider bracelet yeah. for ages. No. That's lovely. How many left, sweet pea? Okay, so there's about um okay, there's there's about just over 50 left. Or oh, oh, my lovely Suzette. It's got them all my regulars, Mary and Jerry. Hello everyone. Well done. Uh, Jennifer Trish Lorraine uh, Mark as well in Greater London. Good luck. I'll just turn that around so you can see again. Every single one of those, superb quality. They're gorgeous, aren't they? But like you say, Fleur, I mean, if I just show you that in a slider bracelet, what do we mean by a slider bracelet? We've bought those to you quite a lot on Jewelry yeah. Maker, where you've got, you know, you've got an opening and then you've got the slider clasp and you just slide the clasp up yeah. underneath the wrist, don't you? Yeah. But that would hold that, because you don't want to, you don't want those to fall round to the bottom, do you? No, definitely. I'd want that on the top. And I would use these, the, um, the more delicate ones on the end. I would these keep, ones here? Yeah, and I would keep the middle ones for pendants well i'll tell you what imagine that as like a spinner ring oh yeah hey a spinner ring with those inclusions wouldn't that look great that is so i'm going to use the word they're sexy they are sexy they are sexy look at that can i show you one? do you mind me putting them on one more time i mean you just look at that yeah this is one of those strands you know when we get a strand home and i know you're all going to agree with me there's that certain strand, isn't there, where you want to put it on, you want to make it into something so you straight can wear it straight away. away. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it? That's that kind of... Some strands we put away and we think, no, I'll keep that. But then there's other strands that you literally cannot wait to get it on your body. I would want to. One to keep to, to make things with in a later day and one to wear straight away. Yeah. It's like that thing, you know, when you used to go shopping with your mum, was it, can I wear it straight away, Mum? Yeah. And she'd always make you carry it home, wouldn't she? No, put it in the bag. Why? But that is, that is, well, my mum did anyway. She was like, she wouldn't let me wear anything straight away. Are well, you allowed to wear your shoes out? No, shoe no. She's no fun, my mother. Well, she was actually. She just, I think she was just, just making me do as I was told. She, she wanted you to make them last, because knowing you, you'd have jumped in the muddy puddle. Yeah. I still do. <laughs> <laughs> I have an, when I see a puddle, I do have an urge to, to go and jump in. You do, don't yeah. you? Yeah. You never lose that. You've got your wellies on. That is so good. Oh, no, you flip flops then. Well, it depends how warm it is. I wouldn't yeah. in this weather. <laughs> Can somebody remind me when I leave here as well to go to the nursery shop? Because I need to get some um, container. I need to get some plants for me containers. Just remind me because they were, they were my mum's. That is fantastic. Yes. Can you write that code down for me, love, please? Thanks. I'm going to treat myself to them. Right, what have we got left? Because we haven't got long, have we? We've got to do Wall of Fame as well, haven't we? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can see somebody has sent in a poppy oh, design. Yes. Oh, sorry, we've had a poppy design sent in. How oh, lovely. Have you decided yet, Wayne, or are you just having a little... 
gold coloured benzol. Benzol? <laughs> Denzel, I was thinking there. Well, ben bezel, and I thought Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. That's um, the first thing that I think of when someone says bezel as well. <laughs> <laughs> could you could you show a uh, gold coloured bezel pendant in a but ah as you do oh so this could be um in a boat oh they mean like oh the the is it's not called a boat wheel what's it Ships called wheel. the navigation isn't it it's called the net the you get a set of two Oh, I've got my found it the right way around, mightn't it? There you go. I was just looking. John Clive, do you know what? I'm so. I was looking up thinking, how's that going to. Don't turn it back. Turn it back. Do you know, we've got something wrong today. I might as well get some. I was looking at that thing. That's going to be a bit fiddly, isn't it? <laughs> Why do you. Get, come on, give me a You don't expect that much detail on the back, do you? No, you Let's don't. Let's be honest. No, you don't. But I was looking at that thinking, I can't see how that's going to sit in there, the, the, the resin. I was thinking, I might be a novice, but am I missing something? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's lovely about? My, my guess is on because you really showed me up then. But she was mouthing to me frantically. <laughs> I was thinking, what? Turn it round? <laughs> I'm not on the boat. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Port. I like port. <laughs> what do you mean, port? I know you like a tipple of port. Uh, oh, do you know what? We need to show go now. Who's coming on next? <laughs> They've got the professionals in this afternoon, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> We're off home for our Sunday dinner. So, I've just my blacked the roast chicken. Oh, yeah, my mum's sure. cooking for us, yeah, four o'clock. Well, my dad rang me oh, before I come in. He said, We're doing a roast dinner, a roast dinner chicken, a roast chicken dinner at two o'clock. Do you want to come on, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? Sorry, my earpiece has gone funny. Rock and roll resin? What's rock and roll resin? Fleur, what's rock and roll resin? So it's all these amazing gemstones. What? You can, can you put those in resin? Yeah, I'm just going to, I've just popped it away, but I'm going to see if I can find it again. Get there it. There we go. There you go. Oh, so that's all of them. Wow. So you've got tanzanite, amazonite and uh, oh, blind moonstone. Oh, Fleur, that looks ace. And then you can make them into geodes as well, so you can actually pour it into, a, into your mould and make it into a, wow. into a geode. Oh, we've only got 14. Oh. So you're getting a massive pot of Tanzanite rough and rainbow moonstone? Yep. And Amazonite. Amazonite. And you get the dome in resin with this one. <gasps> so if you want to put domes onto things, so you can see just how high the resin has come over the top of the... Um, and that's what does that, isn't it? Yeah, so it's got that high, so you can see that... I mean, logic tells you that it wouldn't be able to go any higher than the, um, and then the bezel wall, but with dome in resin, you can. It needs Brilliant. to clean, that one. It's gone a bit mucky. <laughs> Like to say. <laughs> uh, just quickly, do be quick, do be quick, do be quick, because there's hardly any left. Need single figures already. Um, so well done, thank you. Right, it's now all about you, as it quite rightfully should be. We're going to do your wall of fame. You can go first with that one. From 78. Um, and this is from Bridget um, in North Wales. It says, Hi, please find my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I tried to replicate one of Gem Hawk's makes from last week. Not quite neat enough, but I quite like it. I'm thinking of making a suite of crit jewellery for Christmas Day. The Swarovski cup chain is a fantastic colour. Good luck to everyone in the drawer. Kind regards from Bridget. Bridget, I think that's incredibly neat. I was going to say, very, how, how's, very where's very that neat. not neat? That is beautiful. Stunning, stunning piece of jewellery. Well done. It's immaculate. It is. Well done. Beautiful. Well, well, done. well, well. Very poignant, Denise. She says, morning, jewellery makers. I'm not sure th if this is good enough for the Wall of Fame. Well, we think it is. As I look and admire others' work, if I get picked, I'm likely to be either at a craft fair Saturday or our Mistress Parade on Sunday. But here goes. I made my own poppy using JM 0.8mm wire in rose gold and then used 0.6mm to gizmo coil and make the outline of the poppy. My friend's mum gave me her button tin a few years ago, but I've not done anything with it until now. 
Winning would be wonderful as it would boost my mojo as so many things have gone wrong lately. Oh, Denise. Uh, you should work here with us. Good luck to everybody, but I hope I'm included and a win would put a smile on my face. Thanks, JM, for inspiring me. Well, Denise, you've been, art, you've been picked, so that hopefully will put a smile on yeah. your face as well. Well done, darling. I've got number 79, wow. and this is from Fran. It says, hello, everyone. I hope you are all safe and healthy. I'm sending some photos of a Celtic weave-style bangle in gold-plated copper wire with a labradorite that I attached using the netting technique. I've shown multiple photos of the same item to try and illustrate the life that the labradorite has, mm. even if it's not the expected blue-pink-type colours. Hope you like it. Take care. Stay safe. And that's from Fran. I like Fran, the gold. That's beautiful. I like yeah. the gold. Gorgeous. One of my favourite gemstones, and it's from Alex in the Forest of Dean. Hello, all at JM a quick make this week for a pink person. <laughs> Thank goodness for JM bead scoops and leftovers, agate, plain and faceted rounds, plus some tiger's eye. Everything except the bracelet clasp is from JM. Headpins, spacer beads, crimps, crimp covers, extension chain, beading wire, earring hooks, jump rings, the ability to make and the help to get me the confidence to go out there and sell my makes. Big thank you to JM from me. Alex, fabulous. Beautiful. Love it. That's amazing. Look at the dragon. Wow. And this is from Zoe Varga. It says, Hi all, I made this dragon hatching, hatchling cuff bracelet from oh. bronze and copper wire, spectralite and pyrite. I hope wow. you like it. That's beautiful. That is a work of art. Beautiful. Absolute work of art. Ah, oh, here we go. And this is our lovely um, uh, Heather Pearson. She said, good morning, Jam. This week's make is inspired by Mark's Carrier Bee DVD. Can't wait for the next one. It is made using 11 Odelicas, pearl beads and red magatamas, all from JM. Such a variety of mediums. Well done to all. Good luck and Merry Christmas. Oh, that's my first one. To all participant, partici <laughs> Easy for you to <laughs> participants, love Heather Pearson. Well done. Thanks and Merry forever. Christmas to you first one. Well done. And the last one that I've got is number oh, wow. 81. And uh, this is, I saw these on Facebook and I was blown away. They're amazing. Yeah. It's from Kim Fox in Pontefract. It says, good morning, JM. This is what I made using the beautiful agate slices you brought to us. They are tea lights. I wish I'd bought more. I used some amethyst chips to decorate them. Good luck to all fellow offers. And that's from Kim that's Fox. That's fantastic. It's beautiful, Kim. Brilliant. Beautiful. Nicely photographed as well. Very, very nice. Uh, a real wow piece, uh, sweet, rather, from our lovely Suzette. Oh. She says, I have had another go with the seed beads this week, along with my chain mail. Uh, very apt, as we've got the lovely Fleur here. The previous set I made, I couldn't get the jump, things through, the jump rings through the beads. So I changed the middle seed bead on two corners to a size six. Very clever. So the jump ring went through perfectly, and I could chain mail directly from it. See, she, made a, she, she, she worked out how to get yeah, that right. I even made a ring, which I've never done before. Oh, well done. Looking forward to the resin on Sunday. Well, here we are, Suzette. Good luck to all and take care. Aww. Well done. You're all in the draw. The draw takes place on a Wednesday morning. Um, now, on Wednesday, speaking of which, we have an extra special deal of the day, and it actually comes in this very posh gift box. This is Wednesday, okay? So you've only got, what, three sleeves? There you go. Now, this is your Christmas day. This is your wedding day. This is your 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, whatever it might be. Very, very special. I say multicolored, but I'm actually talking. I don't know whether I'm ever comfortable quite calling these multicolored because they've got this most beautiful. Yeah subdued tone of elegance a variety of gentle blends of colors and they work together magically so that is going to be your deal of the day extra special pearls in that gift box on wednesday okay fleur as always an absolute joy no oh, thank you truly mm. oh, thank you thank you Wonderful, wonderful. Um, now, on the mid show this afternoon, we have got the guest is on Jill. Is it Jill Hunter? And who's presenting? Oh, it's our lovely Becky. Uh, right then, so we've got Becky uh, presenting this afternoon. She's fantastic. Please stick around. She's got some lovely treats for you and the wonderfully talented, speaking of seed beads, the lovely Jill Hunter as well. So do stick around if you can. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Thank you to my amazing morning show team, you lovely boys, men. Thank you. And Michael. Um, do join me again. Um, I'll, I'm, I've got to work out when I'm back with you, actually, but I am filming a double DVD with Linda Brumwell Tuesday oh. night. So watch this space. Take care. Look after yourself. See you soon. <laughs>